हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई धैर्य भाटिया वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स डीएनए फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू इन्फिनिटी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ सी एस आई नेट जून टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन पार्ट बी लीनियर एलजेब्रा बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी शेयर समथिंग विथ यू दैट इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सी एस आई नेट जी एफ मैथमेटिक्स देन वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस एन ऑल इन वन बुक विथ टू थाउजेंड प्लस सॉल्व क्वेश्चन मटीरियल इंक्लूडिंग जनरल एप्टीट्यूड एज वेल and here the solutions are provided with complete detail the link is available in the description as well as on our telegram channel moving on to the question the question is let we denote the vector space of all real valued continuous functions on closed interval 0,1 let w be the subspace of v spanned by sin x cos x and tan x then the dimension of w over r is the options are a1 b2 c3 and d infinite each and every year in different competitive exams one question is at least asked on the dimension and vector space and there is a simple method to solve this let us solve this firstly we consider a b and c elements from the field and we make an equation a sin x plus b cos x plus c tan x equals to 0 now we know that if we find that a b and c are all equals to 0 then the given set that is sin x cos x and tan x will be linearly independent it is also given that the function sorry uh, it is a real valued continuous functions on the closed interval 0 comma 1 so we consider three values of x first x equals to 0 second x equals to pi by 4 and third x equals to pi by 6 this gives us three equation when x equals to 0 we put the value in the equation above we get a into 0 plus b into 1 plus c into 0 that is equals to 0 this gives us that b equals to 0 and now with x equals to pi by 4 and x equals to pi by 6 we have a by root 2 plus b by root 2 plus c equals to 0 and e by 2 plus root 3 b by 2 plus 1 by root 3 c is also equals to 0 now as we have already found that b equals to 0 we eliminate the second term in both the equations and we are uh, we are left with a by root 2 plus c equals to 0 and a by 2 plus 1 by root 3 c equals to 0 from the first equation a by root 2 plus c equals to 0 we get c equals to minus a by root 2 and substituting this value in the second equation we have a by 2 minus a by root 3 root 2 equals to 0 which clearly implies a has to be 0 so a equals to 0 and c is again dependent on a so when a becomes 0 c also becomes 0 so we found a equals to b equals to c and all are equals to 0 and thus the set sin x cos x tan x is linearly independent it is possible that in examination you might get a different set take independent variables a b c as much as they are required and then put the equation equals to 0 and try to find whether all are is 0 or not so the dimension over here is 3 hence the correct answer is option c thank you and you can be a member of our social club and watch to 70 plus videos on our youtube channel and get a complete study material for any higher mathematics competitive exam from our telegram